just doing like simple camera shake. I will, especially if you if you've got a camera already moving around, <clears throat> I will make a an animation layer at, at, from it. And I'll just call this cam. Cam. I always start things with an underscore because sometimes the display layers or um, rigging elements will have something. Maybe it's already called camera, and you don't want namespaces or my to get confused by node names. So I always just do something like that. Um, and then I'll I'll set some keys, and maybe I want some shake, so I'll just do it like on threes, uh, or twos, one, two, one, two. I'll bring up the graph editor. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just grab like one curve, and I'll just, just give it a little pull up. Then I'll grab this curve, again, little, little pull, and then this curve, little pull. And then I'll just grab it and just offset it by a frame or something like that. So they've all got random keys. Mm -hmm. Set them to cycle. So now we've got like this camera shake, right? <laughs> but what you can yeah. do is, <laughs> is you can key this, this weight of, the, of that particular layer. And now we can dial it down. So it's, it's almost non-existent. Like, yeah, so you just get a little bit of noise and maybe it's completely off and it's just going to slowly build. So when you look at the weight key, you know, you've got this curve and it's going to slowly build and, and then you can turn it off again. Yeah, so you get like a camera shake feel. When you dial it, it just automatically sets the key when, when you're... Uh, yes, well, I, I hit the little K just to set a key okay. on the weight. But if you right click on that layer and go to um, uh, select layer node, it actually mm -hmm. creates um, something in the channel box and you see the weight key here and you can see that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a nice camera trick, cool. So yeah, uh, you can just turn it off quite easily. 